Oh, hey everybody, it's Dwayne from Proud Canadian Cannabis, and I'd like to welcome you to the end of week six update. The ladies have been looking absolutely wonderful, and they have been bulking like crazy. The crystal production is going off the charts, and I figured today we turn down the lights, and uh, maybe that way I can get in and show you guys a little bit better what's going on with this crystal production. So, uh, I don't know, let's start on that back California orange or the front California orange, sorry guys, and uh, take a look at what's going on with her. So, let's zoom in here just a little. So as you can see, you guys, I don't know if you noticed that, but if you look here on the plant, let's see if I can, if you look here on the plant, you can see how everything in this area is really orange, all the pistol hairs are orange, and it looks like it should be in week six. Then you get to the top, and if you look at every single one of these tops, they are all doing this. We have got a brand new, fresh explosion of pistol hairs on every one of these tops. And I mean just absolute explosion of crystal, or pistol hairs. And on the very tops, you can see that they're really really bulking up compared to I don't know a quarter inch below it <laughs> so all these tops are uh, <clears throat> just going crazy and if you take a closer look you can really see those trichomes coming out you guys just beautiful beautiful buds and what a awesome awesome smell you guys just an explosion of citrus orange even a little hint of maybe a, a lemon in there a lemon and lime zest kind of um, like in the back of the throat really really nice beautiful and a real real dank to it as well you guys um, I believe from what Wabbit said, this is another one of those strains that Wabbit sent up. Uh, came with the blue lemon and the uh, blackberry mouth. Uh, he said this one was crossed with a white widow, a really heavy producing white widow. And uh, I'll tell you guys, this is a beautiful cross. Just, I mean, let's zoom back a bit here. You know, these buds are getting huge, just massive. Every one of them is pop can size. Even these little guys down here, you know, they're half a pop can at least. Just gorgeous, gorgeous buds. And then we'll move on to the, the Crown Royale. This is one of the Crown Royales. This is the taller of the two. Just beautiful as well, you guys. As you can see, the trichome production has just exploded out of this girl. Both of the Crown Royales actually are looking this nice and frosty. Absolutely beautiful, you guys. Just gorgeous. And these colas are a good 10, 12 inches. You know, they're not anything to write home about. Nice golf ball size nugs on them, you guys. Zoom back a bit. The whole plant just beautiful white frosting really starting to fill in nicely fill in those little holes in between the buds and turn it into a beautiful plant you guys just a beautiful girl <laughs> and <laughs> the bruiser berry now the bruiser berry has got it <laughs> it's got a stinky smell of the dankest dank but the sweetest berries that I've ever smelt on any plant. This cross between the Blackberry Mouth from uh, Jordan of the Island and uh, DJ Short's Blueberry, we have created a frosty monster. This thing sprouted up to 4.7 feet tall. Her, uh, her buds are filling in beautifully. Let me tell you. That's uh, an 18 inch long cola there, you guys, from where it starts down, right about there, and goes all the way up. And that one behind it is 21 inches. Now they're not super, super huge. They're about 
Well, I guess they're pushing half a pop can, maybe a little better. They're about the uh, smaller size buds on the Cali Orange. Uh, but for Rosti, holy you guys. And it is so sticky. Like I think I said in the last video, it's, it's like Gorilla Glue on steroids, you guys. You push this stuff together on your fingers, you're not getting your fingers apart. Soap and water, you know, you're at it for 20 minutes to get it off your hands. But just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful buds. The frosting is just stupendous. I mean, you guys are seeing it. Just gorgeous. And she just turned into this giant, beautiful goddess of dark green and just explosion of huge, massive trichomes. I can't wait to see if she starts to purple up like the blueberry does that she came from. That would be awesome to cap her off. If she started to go purple on us, especially in the trichomes like the last blueberry did, well, man, that would be absolutely stupendous. I'm telling you guys, this is going to be some fucking killer smoke. Just know it. Just the smell and the dankness. Whew. Look at that again. Just stacking and packing, man. Look at that shit. Just awesome. And uh, I'll pull in the other Crown Royale for you guys. Just take a quick look at her. We're looking again at the Cali Orange here. Just gorgeous, eh? I just love the look of this, bud. It's not the highest in... Uh... Actually, you know, I don't know because it's been crossed with the White Widow. It might have uh, a, a better potency level than uh, most of the Cali Oranges that I've read up on. I wasn't aware that it was crossed with White Widow until the other day when Wabbit was telling me about it. Uh, but, wow! I mean, just awesome the way she's flowering, eh? Look at these freaking new hairs. Just an explosion of hairs on that. On every single one of these colas. I mean, you can see it. It's on every one of these colas. It's like it grew a new hair, a new hairdo. <laughs> Even the one in the back. That one's starting to foxtail a little bit. These ones aren't foxtailing yet. <laughs> They're definitely growing themselves some new tops. So let's get that other one in here, you guys. Just one second. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, yeah, didn't have that ready to go. So this is the other Crown Royale. And she's a little bit shorter of the two, as you can see, you guys. I've got her up on a bucket. And that's just to get her up to the same height as the other plant. She didn't. This is the one that grew with all the purpling in her. Um, but she, uh, she didn't stretch. She stayed short, she stayed compact, and again, not really what I'm looking for, you guys. She's not really bulking into anything major. She's staying the same as the other girl. Um, but, you know, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful smell. She's got an earthy smell with a big gush of gas in her and uh, a bit of that berry sweetness. This uh, comes from crossing purple kush and blueberry together. It's from uh, Crop King Seeds. Beautiful smoke, you guys. Just never grew big and danky, and uh, the buds are always small. Uh, golf balls, as big as I can get these buds, you guys. But nice smoke, great taste, and uh, grows great. Beautiful trichomes. Um, we grew the, the one uh, Crown Royale the last run. Uh, she was a, a pound plant. We got 16 plus ounces off of her. She grew into a great big monster. She mainlined like a champ. You guys can go back to uh, the next run to take a look at how that one turned out. Uh, great plant. I'm not knocking her. Just not exactly what I'm looking for. Great smoke, you guys. She great, does great for pain. Uh, good for extracts. Good for pressing. Uh, good for doing CBD and THC extractions in uh, even the magic butter machine. Um, that's what I use for making my uh, extracts for doing gummies and all of that, you guys. 
uh, maybe I'll get into doing a video on that, you guys. If you're interested in me making uh, THC gummies, um, I'll go through how to use the magic butter machine, uh, how to make your own oil. Uh, I use MCT oil uh, instead of just coconut oil. MCT oil binds a lot better to THC. Um, there's a lot less fats and shit in it. Uh, it just binds a lot better to THC and CBD. That's why I use it. Uh, and it makes your gummies a lot more clear. They look more like gummy bear gummies. You can see through them. They don't get cloudy like they do using coconut oil. Uh, but if you guys would like to see that, I could I could put a video together for you guys and show you guys how I make my THC gummies. If you're interested in that, it's really quick and simple. Using Jello, um, not a lot to it. I could put a, a episode together f uh, doing that for you guys if you like. Anyways, this is getting long, you guys. Uh, the only change at the end of week six you guys need to worry about. Hopefully, you've done your lighting change and you're now uh, on to ten and a half hours on. Uh, week seven or week eight, we'll be looking at the end of week seven, beginning of week eight, we'll be looking at maybe dropping that again. If not, it'll be the end of week eight going into week nine to finish the plants off and we'll finish them out at 10 hours. That just pushes them a little more, you guys, gets those trichomes out, extra oil production, resin production, all that fun shit, as, long, as well as turpins. So, you know, you get that little bit of extra oomph in the end there for that last week. And, uh, we are done with, uh, oh, what are we done with? We are done with, um, huh, my brain is farting. We are done with Big Bud. That's the one we're looking for. We are done with Big Bud at the end of this week, you guys, and moving on to Overdrive. So remember to do that. The last two weeks of flower, you guys, we switched to Overdrive. Well, the last three two to three weeks i like to start it a little bit before the second week uh you know midway into into week uh week six or or uh or week seven if we were doing a or uh, uh an eight week uh yeah if we were doing an eight week flowering period sorry guys i'm brain farting we'd be uh starting in week six we're doing a nine week so we're starting in a week seven sorry guys and you want to run that for, you know, your last two weeks before your flush period. And that just bulks everything up and gets that last kick in the ass and overdrive and gets those nugs turned into giant colas and buds for you and finishing them off strong. All right, guys, I'm going to finish up there before I trip over my own tongue and fall on my face. Uh, you guys have a great week and we'll see you at the end of week seven. Peace and love. And we'll see you the next video, y'all. We'll get into some trichome shots, maybe the end of week seven, if not the beginning of week eight. And we'll see you in that video. Again, keep it green. Grow your old buds frosty, my friends. Just like that, right there. And take care of your ladies. Because you know, if you do, they will take care of you. We will see you in the week seven video, y'all. Peace and love. Oh, I can't wait to smoke on that. Woo. Okay, guys. See you in week seven.